Hello, my beautiful darling loves. Welcome to your love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Leo-only channel. Cross watchers are welcome. I do have a Cancer and Virgo channel also. If you'd like to check it out, the links are below. Please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe so you know when my videos post. Um, readings can be vice versa, so flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation. Um, please keep in mind, readings can also be future predictive. Uh, when leaving comments, please try to show kindness and sympathy for anyone going through a hard time. This is a place of healing, not judgment. And last but not least, I do not take personal readings. So any phone numbers that you see in the comment section, or if anyone reaches out to you on social media, it is 100% not me, Okay. Um, I can recommend Barbara from Quartz Rose Tarot. So if you would like to book with her, the link is in the description box below. Um, Leo, I'm sorry I haven't been posting recently. I think my last post was a few days ago, but with the full moon and Mercury retrograde, oh my gosh, my loves, that shit knocked me out like it was bad. Um, so I'm back. Hopefully we'll get back to doing it every day again. I hope everybody is doing surviving this mercury retrograde okay so let's see what we have here for leo please. oh for leo please spirit tell me about leo please sun moon rising and venus okay well that's nice we got the empress and the king of pentacles there could be a slight age difference between you and your person the judgment card and the wheel of fortune very nice all right let's see We've got the star card, and we've got the eight of wands. Damn, Leo, who's getting married? We've got the hierophant here, and we've got the fool, and we've got the two of cups. We've got the lover's card, and we've got the emperor. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay, so Leo, this is really nice. I like it. Okay. So Leo, I feel like we have, okay, so we have one person that's an Empress energy. Okay. Now there could actually be an age difference between you and this person or a maturity difference. Now, don't get me wrong, Leo. King of Pentacles is awesome. King of Pentacles is right under an emperor. Okay. Right under an emperor, but they're not quite an emperor. Okay. So there may have been some slight differences between you and this person. With the Wheel of Fortune and the Judgment card here, the Star and the Eight of Wands, you're about to be receiving some communication that's just going to make your heart burst with joy. I mean, literally, your heart is just going to burst with joy. Yeah, I mean, this is going to be this, this, whatever conversation or communication you're getting, it's going to make you really, really happy. Okay, okay. Someone is willing to go all in. This is somebody that is willing to go in. They're like, you know what? I love you. I want to marry you. We've got a king of pentacles upgrading to an emperor to sit with their empress. Okay. Now here's where it gets a little catchy though. Okay. We got this lover's card. Adam, Eve, and the snake. Is there somebody jealous that this is happening, Leo? Somebody's jealous over this coming together. There's someone here that's going to be extremely jealous that this is coming together. <clears throat> Let's see here. <clears throat> Tell me about this King of Pentacles for Leo. The Queen of Swords. Yeah. Okay. So let me tell you what I'm seeing here. Okay. There's a queen of swords in the picture here. And this queen of swords was keeping your person at king of pentacles status, not really going all into emperor energy. Okay. Now I feel like your person is ascending to that emperor energy, wanting to come in and go full force. Tell me about this queen of swords. And the Knight of Wands, I told you. 
This could be, you know, I mean, it could be that your person was cheating with somebody else, Leo. I'm just going to put it out there. Let's just get it out of the way now, okay? It could be that there is a third party in the picture here and your person has made that firm decision to go all in and get, you know, propose marriage or say that they're going to make a big commitment like moving in together, buying a house together, getting married. Um, do you see what I'm saying? Or it could be that this Queen of Swords energy wants your person and was coming in between because I mean if this was if this third party was sexual or romantic I feel like it would have come up more as the queen of wands but it's not it's coming up as the queen of swords so this tells me that this is somebody that's very strategic and I feel like this third party person wants you or wants your person I don't know you have to take it as it resonates so long story short we've got a couple coming together we have a couple that's coming together and the commitment is moving forward into higher levels of commitment. But this Queen of Swords energy wants you or your person. And that this is the person that's been holding someone back from going all in. Tell me about the judgment card. The Knight of Pentacles. This person has been has taken a while to make a decision, and I feel it's because of this Queen of Swords energy. Now, let me give you an example on what that could look like, okay? I'm a girl, I'm into men, right? So it's me and my boyfriend and I have a girlfriend, okay? Now this girlfriend has a crush on my boyfriend, okay? And my boyfriend wants to move into with me or my boyfriend wants to marry me or take things to another level, but my girl, my best friend does not like my boyfriend. So my best friend does nothing but put shit in my ear, talk crap about my boyfriend, make me worry and doubt and get in my head and do all this other stuff, which prevents me from fully just going all in in my connection. But it's because my best friend, who my bestie here that I have no idea is in love with my man. Are you under? Are you following what I'm saying here, guys? Do you understand? Um, I, I feel like it's a third party energy here that's very intelligent with that Queen of Swords energy. This is somebody that knows what they want with that Knight of Wands energy. They've got a fire. They've got a passion. They want something. And they've been very smart with keeping something from moving forward and ascending. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune for Leo and the Six of Cups. You see, the problem that this person is making is that you and your person are Emperor Empress status, which is twin flame, twin soul, past life soulmates, divine. The, this Queen of Swords energy is trying to come in between a divine union. They're trying to come in between a divine union. The star card with the strength card, the eight of wands, and the two of cups. You see, something was meant to be here with that star card. But with that strength card, this queen of wands was trying to pull whoever this is back. Do you understand? But with that eight of wands and the two of cups, it's happening anyway. Somebody here is saying, listen, you know, I love Leo or Leo, you're telling a friend or somebody, listen, I love this person and I want to marry them or I want to move in with them. I, I want to live my life with this person. Um, so basically this queen of swords energy, whoever the, and it could be male or female, but whoever this person is, that's trying to kind of keep this connection from ascending, uh, is being shut down. They're losing control. Tell me about Leo, please. We've got the tower. Tell me about Leo, please. The Knight of Cups in the reverse. Tell me about Leo, please. The Hanged Man. And the Four of Pentacles. Tell me about Leo, please. The Justice card. <coughs> and the Fool. The Eight of Cups, the Eight of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, the Three of Wands. So, okay, you see, Leo, here's what's happening. This is the side of the Queen of Swords, 
okay? Everything is starting to fall apart for this Queen of Swords energy. The Knight of Cups in the reverse is an indication of, you know, first of all, these two are not dating. There's no love between these two. Um, you know, the, the, it's like their heart drops because it's like, wow, this person really doesn't care about me. This is someone that has been hanging on, sacrificing, suffering, you know, maybe staying single. I don't know, but just waiting there, waiting and hoping for the day that it would be their turn and with that justice card and that fool card that it would be their turn okay so let's go back to that little example that i told you about about me my best friend and my man right okay so my best friend's constantly in my ear talking crap about my man and the connection is not ascending right what this best friend wants is for my relationship to fail so that she can go and get it in with my man and justice is hers with that full card. She could go have a new beginning. So that's just an analogy. It's just an example. It doesn't have to be that way, right? But what this queen of swords was planning was that, you know, if the connection stayed stagnant long enough, or if this queen of swords was able to cause problems just enough that the connection would falter and fall apart and that, you you know this queen of swords would get their chance and that is not happening and that is not happening this queen of swords energy feels like they've invested a lot in the connection with that six of pentacles I've, I've always been there for you to give you advice to give you all this other stuff and with that three of wands energy I, I feel like the queen of swords felt like in time the future held that this emperor energy would gain feelings for them this is unrequited love with that Knight of Cups in the reverse. There is no love with this Queen of Swords energy. But this is somebody that was still continuing to invest in a connection, knowing that, you know, that there was no love in the moment, but they saw it in the future. They're like, eventually this person will come to love me. But it's very easy for this Emperor energy to just walk away and go get married or go live their best life. You see, Page of Wands and the Two of Swords. <coughs> this is somebody... This is somebody, this Queen of Swords was acting as a friend, but whatever they were saying, they were putting either you or your person in your head. Should I make this move? Should I get married? No, I shouldn't. Yes, I should. No, yeah, that's a good point. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I'm just better off single, you know? It doesn't, it doesn't work that way. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't work that way. You cannot come in between a divinely guided union. You can't. Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. Lumen Moon Tarot puts this the best, guys. The Nine of Pentacles is pre Empress energy. This is someone that has achieved everything that they need to achieve in life. They're just waiting for that one pentacle, which is love, to bring it to a beautiful Ten of Pentacles, okay? To bring it to a beautiful Ten of Pentacles. For those of you new to Tarot, the Ten of Pentacles is long-term, stable, solid, financial, and emotional long-term commitment. It's like my favorite card in the whole deck. It's like, you know, achieving that 10 year plan, you know, growing old together. Um, and it's not working out for this queen of swords energy. Tell me about this tower. We've got the queen of cups. Tell me about the knight of cups in the reverse. Ooh, we have the six of wands. Hold on guys. Oh, y'all got me bending, flipping around and doing all this stuff. I'm too old for this. I'm already out of breath. Okay. Ooh, we got the devil and the six of wands. This person is pissed. Lord Jesus, fix it. This person is mad. This person is big mad, Leo. Oh my gosh. This person is big mad because this emperor is in love with the empress, which I feel is you. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the hangman. And the queen of wands. This person was waiting. This person, I feel like these two haven't had sex yet, Leo. I mean, they could have. They could have, okay? But I feel like for the majority, this person was waiting for the opportunity to seduce this emperor. <clears throat> they were waiting for that opportunity. They were waiting for things to fall apart. Tell me about the four of pentacles. And the King of Swords and the Two of Wands. You see, the plan was to keep these two separated. The plan was to keep these two separated. <sighs> Tell me about the Justice card and the Page of Swords. 
the full card and the four of cups. There's about to be a conversation or some news coming in here. Okay. That whatever this person thought was going to happen, they're, they're about to be disappointed here. They're about to be disappointed. They are about to be severely disappointed. Tell me about this page of swords. What is this communication? Oh, and the ten of swords. Yikes. The queen of swords is being cut off. The queen of swords is being cut off. We've got the sun and the moon. Something here has been happening. Um, something here has been happening and the queen of swords is about to find out that these two are getting married. This queen of wands, uh, excuse me, this queen of swords is going to continue to try to sabotage this. Seven of Wands and Temperance. This Queen of Swords energy is going to maintain their composure, okay? But with that Ace of Swords and that Eight of Swords, this person is thinking about how they're going to take action next, how to block this with the Seven of Wands. Do you understand what I'm saying? How am I going to how am I going to mess this up? We've got the Eight of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles. There's this beautiful union taking place, this beautiful wedding taking place. And with the Five of Swords here, how am I going to sabotage this? There is a snake that really wants to come in between this relationship. And I have to be honest, guys, I'm not sure if this Queen of Swords energy is someone that, I don't know if you know who this enemy is. Do you know who this person is? I don't know. Because if you were to ask me, Gina, be honest, how do you really feel about this reading? Is my person sleeping with this person? I would tell you no. I would tell you no. Uh, to be honest, I feel like this is someone that's giving bad advice. This is someone with ulterior motives. This is someone that tries to pit the emperor and the empress against each other. Do you see what I'm saying? I don't know if this person, you know, wants to get with the man, the woman or whatever. But this is someone who ultimately had a plan to kick back, wait, try to keep the connection as separated as possible without making uh, the intentions noticeable. Do you see what I'm saying? Without calling attention to the fact that they're trying to break up a relationship. I, I feel like with that Ten of Swords and that Five of Swords that this Queen of Wands, uh, excuse me, this Queen of Swords, and I don't want to even say the Queen of Wands because they're waiting to be the Queen of Wands. They're waiting to be able to seduce somebody. Right now they're sat in the Queen of Swords energy. But they know what they want with that Knight of Wands energy. Do you see what I'm saying? They know what they want. And they're about to receive with that Knight of Swords energy some communication here that somebody's about to get married. They're going to be extremely disappointed that, they, that they're missing their opportunity here. But they're not done yet. This third party is not done. I feel like they're still, they're going to, with that temperance card, they're going to maintain their composure. And it's going to be like that energy of, you know, until they're actually married, I still have a chance. So, you know, get ready because this person is not quitting. They're not about to quit. You know, the, the real concern, well, we're going to take this into the extended. Let's see if we can, you know, kind of maybe narrow it down on who this person could be. Okay, uh, we'll pull some oracles on that. Um, and let's see if this person is going to succeed in, in, you know what I'm saying, in hurting this emperor or empress energy. Uh, I feel like a marriage might be taking place, honestly. I feel like there might be a marriage taking place or maybe two people buying a house together or something really beautiful is taking place. And this Queen of Swords energy um, is going to try to mess it up. So the question that you need to ask yourself is, number one, who is this snake? You see what I'm saying? Um, all right, so let's take it into the extended. The link for the extended will be in the description box below and in the comment section below. I love you all so very much, and I will see you there. Take care, my loves.